Hey, what is up guys and happy holidays, it's Diego and today I'm here with another Dinosaur of the Month. Today guys, I was trying to find something relating to the holiday season, you know, something like, I don't know, relating to maybe polar dinosaurs, something, something cold, you know, because it's December, but I, I couldn't find anything, at least nothing that was recent, and when I mean recent, I mean like within 2018, I, I could only find stuff that was like, stuff that you probably already knew about, so I decided to go with this story, because this story is actually really new, this actually happened just days ago, they actually discovered a new dinosaur, now when I first announced this series last month, I was actually a little bit worried, because I didn't know how often new dinosaurs were discovered, and I didn't really know how often new information was really let out to the public about dinosaurs, you know, just anything in regards to, to dinosaurs or any other prehistoric creatures. So I was a little bit worried of where this series might have been heading, but turns out I was wrong because they actually found a new dinosaur. So the whole point of this series was to give you guys like new and weird facts about dinosaurs, but really as far as this dinosaur goes, there's nothing too weird about it except for its name, but we're going to give it a bit of context before we get to the name. The jawbone of this dinosaur was discovered near Lightning Ridge in an opal mine in Weewara, which is a town in New South Wales. If you guys don't know what opal is, it's actually a really cool transparent gemstone that consists of a lot of silica. And one of these guys' jawbones was actually embedded into one of these. It's actually a really cool image, and quite a discovery too. And because this dinosaur was discovered in Weewara, I apologize if I'm not saying that name right, it was officially named after the town, so its full name is Weewarasaurus. Pobeni. Again, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I'm sorry. It is a bit, a bit, it is kind of a weird name, okay? I'm sorry. And this dinosaur holds the record for being the first dinosaur scientifically named in South Wales in the last century. So, hey, this dinosaur has like, uh, is like a world record thing for South New Wales, so, or New South Wales. Sorry, I'm, I'm saying that name completely wrong. This dinosaur was actually discovered five years ago and was named after its discoverer, Mike Pobin, who actually showed this fossil of the jaw embedded into opal to a paleontologist from the University of New England by the name of Dr. Phil Bell. Dr. Bell was so fascinated by this discovery, he said, and I quote, I had to try hard to contain my excitement. It was so beautiful. And I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, it's a dinosaur jawbone discovered in opal. It's embedded into opal. It looks awesome. Now, I will be honest, if I saw something like that, I'd be pretty excited too. I mean, that's quite a find. But anyways, with careful studying, they found out that it actually belonged into an ornithopod group, which makes sense because, you know, it does have teeth similar to that of like a Lesothosaurus. I think that's how you say that. You know, that one dinosaur from uh, Walking with Dinosaurs and uh, like any kind of Hypsilophodontide kind of dinosaur, or Heterodontosaurus. Actually, Heterodontosauruses had like, like sharper teeth, I feel like, so maybe not them, but you guys know what I mean. So uh, if there was these kind of ornithopod dinosaurs, then it's most likely they were bipedal, small, and uh, moved in herds, I guess, or in very least, small groups. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, again, as far as this dinosaur goes, there's nothing too weird about it except for its name, and honestly, a name like that is not too uncommon. I mean, I've seen weirder dinosaur names. There's literally a dinosaur named Drinker, uh, named after Edward Drinker Cope. But, uh, I mean, like, that's, that's kind of weird. More weird compared to this one, at least. Or at least that's what, you know, I think. But for the most part, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Dinosaur of the Month. But before we go, guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love that you guys left in the last uh, episode of Dinosaur of the Month. Honestly, I didn't know how this was gonna do, like this series, and honestly, the first episode did very well. I just wanna thank you guys so much. Uh, honestly, I'm very excited for this series because I'm gonna be doing stuff that I, you know, have been doing my entire life, and that's pretty much just reading up on dinosaurs, uh, just finding out every day, like just, just news on dinosaurs in general. And honestly, I like that. I live for that. That's my passion, you know, I just love, looking at anything dinosaur related it's it's fun to me so honestly i'm gonna have i'm gonna i'm gonna have fun with this series i'm gonna try to be creative with it and uh honestly i'm really happy that i did a dinosaur like this i'm really happy i did this instead of trying to find going going out of my way to find like a christmas special kind of thing because honestly i have a feeling that something like this uh, an herbivore isn't gonna have too much of a spotlight uh in the future i i don't know why i just feel like carnivores are more favored than herbivores and i feel bad sometimes for the herbivores i feel like you know what I'm going to give these guys a spotlight. So, don't worry guys, I won't discriminate or anything against herbivores. I will, if there is any news on them, put them in the series. But until then guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, that's all I say for now guys. Thank you so much for watching and please, have a nice day.